Let's talk about Thermal Imaging 101. The goal of these series of videos is to help the end user, the firefighter, the first responder, as they're using a thermal imaging camera to understand what they're seeing. Not only what they're seeing, but how it can help them. So we're going to start with the why. Why does it do this? What are we seeing? Why am I actually being able to see things on this thermal imaging camera? And what is it actually showing me? So when we look through the lens of a thermal imaging camera, first of all, you understand the lens of a thermal imaging camera, the front of it is made of germanium or a specific type of material that allows infrared energy to go through it. It's typically not made of glass. There are specific materials that do allow that to go through, but the firefighter needs to understand that lens is just like the windshield on your car. When they enter an environment, the firefighter wipes their face piece because condensation and smoke builds up on their face piece. The same practice needs to be put into play with the actual thermal imaging camera. They need to wipe the lens of the actual device. If they don't, they can have an appearance of what was called whiteout in older cameras. The screen will go white due to moisture buildup, condensation, materials, aerosols, aggregates from smoke. That's very common. We can eliminate that by simply staying low, not standing up in the convection currents like a lot of us do, including myself. I've done it, preaching to the choir. But if we stay low, wipe the lens, make our assessment, communicate, and put the camera down, we'll be better off. So that's the first thing a firefighter needs to know about it because a lot of times firefighters talk about how poor the image quality is in the actual camera. And when I start asking them about what they were actually doing, where they were, the majority of the time they were in an exhaust, they were standing up, and they never wiped the lens of the camera. So let's start with that. So that helps us see better because when we pick up a camera out here looking around, we don't have any interference between us and the target. But when you look at an actual fire, think about the environment you're in. High moisture content, heat, smoke, particulate, nasty stuff falling down from the ceiling, all can get in the way of the lens of that camera. So let's start there. When we carry a camera, we got to understand what we're seeing. But if the windshield of the actual lens is not clean, then we're not going to be able to see much at all. And think about how dirty that environment is and how often you may have to wipe it. A good rule of thumb that my mentors taught me is every time you wipe your face piece, wipe the lens. Let's start with that so we can see better. Stay intelligently aggressive.